We welcome in Brandon Hyde, the manager of the Baltimore Orioles. I give you a lot of credit for being here. It was a very tough day yesterday, Brandon. Of course, everything with uh, Jordan Lyles. First of all, how is he feeling, and when do you think he may take the mound again? Well, texting with him this morning, he does feel a lot better today. So hopefully, um, you know, we'll try to get some fluids in him and, and uh, come looked at, but hopefully he's better in a couple days. So because of that, of course, he's scratched from the start in the second game, was supposed to start the first game for you. So you had to go to your pen early and often, and you're dealing with a lot of pitchers that weren't even on the roster at the beginning of this season. How does your bullpen look right now in terms of usage, and how will you manage that moving forward? Yeah, we were in a little bit of a tough spot yesterday. You know, we were supposed to start the first game, and, and uh, we quickly changed in the morning uh, for Mike Ballman to start, who did a really nice job in, this, you know, in his first start. Um, he's pitched out of the bullpen for us a few times this year, but uh, it was his first major league start, and he kept us in the game. We, we didn't make a couple plays behind him that possibly could have changed things, but did a nice job through five innings. Uh, give them credit for swinging the bat well all day yesterday. And then the second game, a little bit of a rough. We had to scratch Jordan pretty much at the home plate meeting and then make it a bullpen day, which we were already kind of short going into the, the second game yeah. already. So. Uh, yeah, it just it wasn't our day yesterday, but we need to put it behind us and, and move forward, and we got a couple big games left with these guys. And that being said, Brandon, you've always done a great job managing uh, the games that are ahead of you and the guys that you have on that roster. I'm assuming that's exactly what will take place in these next two games. Any sort of uh, message to the team? I'm, I'm sure they know what is at stake, but this is a team that is still in the thick of it in that wild card race. Yeah, no doubt. I think that our guys have played loose this entire year. Uh, it, it's, uh, you know, we, they, they've played with a, a great attitude, um, nothing to lose attitude, honestly. Uh, you know, nobody expected us to be in this position in the beginning of September. And our guys have taken, you know, taken that and run with it. Um, it's, really, it's a real fun team to manage. I, I don't expect us to come out here and be tight today. I think we're going to keep the same attitude we've kept all year long. We've won five series in a row going into yesterday. Yesterday was just a little bit of a hiccup, and we just got to rebound and play better today. All right, Anthony Santander, what's gotten into him since the All-Star break? Yeah, he's swinging the bat great, uh, playing so well, <laughs> just taking really good at-bats, getting huge hits for us, power. Yesterday goes deep from each, both sides of the plate in the first game. Uh, I just like his approach. His approach has changed so much in, in my last few years here. Just this year, he's just so much more patient. He takes walks. He's getting huge walks for us before damage after him. Uh, but it, it real keep the line moving attitude. And then you throw one in the strike zone, he's got an opportunity to leave the ballpark. So uh, love the progress he's made this year. And then on the other side, you look at Rutschman and a couple of other of your prospects. When you look at Rutschman and Henderson, how future, how bright is this future for you guys? Not even 2023, but what they're contributing for you right now. Yeah, I mean, if you look on the field right now for us, we're pretty young. And uh, we're, we're young we're, and we're really athletic and we're talented. Um, and that's been a lot of fun. You know, Gunner's given us a boost since he's gotten here. He's played extremely well. Uh, this guy's the youngest player in the big leagues right now. Uh, he's got huge tools and is going to really hit. Uh, and then Adley's done, doing what he does, which is, uh, you know, really brought a ton of life and energy into our club. Um, we have a, you know, we're way above 500 since he's gotten here. Uh, the, what he can do behind the plate as well as with the bat, it's going to be a, a, a middle of the order piece for a long time. So we're excited about our young players. Uh, we're, we're continuing to get younger and more talented, and it's fun right now. And those are some hitting prospects, of course, in the organization. On the pitching front, Grayson Rodriguez dealing with a, a lat strain but has been uh, in a rehab outing. Any anticipation of when he might return to the big league roster? Well, he has never gotten here, so it's, it, it's going to be a, a first when he get, does get here. I'm not sure if it's going to be toward the end of this year or not. He's still on his, on his progression. Um, we're hoping that he bounces back nicely after every, every outing he makes, but uh, he had a lot of time off. So we're going to kind of see where we are toward the end of September, see where he is, and we'll take it from there. But uh, we're really excited about him going forward. It's, a, it's, a, uh, it's going to be a, a nice starter for us, top of the rotation type talent uh, that we're looking forward to having here uh, going forward. Yeah, no question about it. Number four prospect in all of baseball, number one pitching prospect. Okay, you have uh, Mitchell White on the hill tonight for the Toronto Blue Jays. What's your best, uh, not to give away any secrets, of course, Skip, but what's your best way to go about attacking him to get game three? Well, for us, really, it's about, you know, 
be able to control the strike zone, um, take good swings on strikes. But we, we have won this year because of, of the way we pitched and the way we played defense. And uh, our starters being able to keep us in the games, our bullpen be able to, to hold leads or keep it right there um, and catch the ball. And uh, we've, done that, we've done a great job of, of all those things this year. Um, offensively, we're, like I said, we're athletic. Uh, we, like, we, like to, we like to run. Uh, we have some power in the middle, so hopefully we can get some put some good swings on on, on White and, and get him out of the game at some point and, and pitch and play defense tonight. Skip, are you scoreboard watching? How much are you paying attention? I think once you get to September, I think it's just you have to. It's natural. Um, no, it's fun right now. I mean, I'll, we've had we have three guys in our clubhouse that have ever been in a pennant race. If you look on right. our field yet on yesterday, you know like there was uh, we're, we're so young everywhere and, and just. For a lot of these guys that have been here for the last few years, they've never played in important games. And so the way we've played late recently, I'm really encouraged. I love how, um, I love how they're, they've, they've taken it on and they're enjoying this time because they haven't played in important games in September ever. Um, so to watch, that go, watch them to go through that and gain this experience is, is a lot of fun. No question about it. Best of luck the rest of the way right in the hunt. I appreciate your time, Brandon. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me.